the zodiacs I will pass. All the action I should take, the things I should do for them, are still there. I have confidence in them. Sometimes, singing, dancing, public festivities. It was like an initiation ceremony, but it was nothing of the kind. It was just a jubilant crowd, a village serenading the return of its leader. We are here in the Ivory Coast, Yakoli de Buo, to be precise, a village more than 300 kilometers from the capital, Abidjan. It's hardly the return of the prodigal child, as there is nothing exceptional about this particular return, unless you count the number of people in the entourage of the illustrious man. This man is Marcel Zadi Kessi, a man who no longer figures in the Ivory Coast economic circles, the man who decided to go to war against poverty and misery with his own village in the line of fire, Yakoli de Buo, which he chose to free from underdevelopment. This explains the excitement which accompanies each of his visits to the village. It is simply the meaning I attach to development. It is to Yakolido community's capacity to imagine its future, to achieve it, to see to it themselves. I think that if we arrive at this stage and enter into a process of ongoing progress, we will have imagined our future and therefore we will be able to really move towards development. Development is not so much the buildings, roads and the schools that make it up. It's the people who were at the center of it all. Marcel Zadi Kessi has managed several businesses in the Ivory Coast and is now head of the board of directors of the Ivory Coast Electricity Company, a company he has managed with an expert hand by making all his ideas for development a part of it. This quality is acknowledged by his staff. Marcel Zadi Kessi is an exceptional man as he has succeeded in combining European style management with African culture. Currently, we have a managerial staff which is, in essence, based on that very vision, integration of African values in the world business. Today, we are satisfied with this. But I am taking a lot of initiatives in terms of decentralization and empowerment. I am sufficiently autonomous for optimum management of the department I run. One of the values he instills in us is to work to improve the well-being of our citizens. His management of the Ivory Coast Electricity Company has been a success, but Marcel Zadi has another preoccupation, his village. In fact, the man's chosen ambition has been to put himself at the service of his brothers and sisters from Yakolida Buo, a very ambitious project. It has to be said that this development, like all development processes, has been long and laborious because in a rural environment, it is not always easy to get modern ideas accepted. Developing an area is a very complex business. You have to know how to play with the future without overlooking internal differences of opinion among the people of that area or individual notions. You must be able to implement a long-term process, a process which will be good for individuals as well as the masses. Before we were even born, Mr. Zadi had already started to take the first steps towards development. He started by dividing the village into lots, and then he created cooperatives for the produce, such as rice and corn, and all in order to familiarize people with the link between cooperation and the creation of wealth. In fact, his objective was to get the people of the village to take responsibility for themselves. This son of Yakoli Dabuo never forgets the place where he first took up arms, the village where he was born and grew up. He is going to meet his brothers in order to put himself at the heart of their preoccupations. 
Je suis parti d'ici. I left this village. I went to school. J'ai voyagé. I traveled. I saw many things. Ce que je faire, what I would like to do is succeed in changing the way of life of the inhabitants of my village Donc, uh, to be genuinely at their service and bring to them things that I have seen elsewhere in order to effect change. It's not easy to introduce new ideas in an area where conservative ideas are still strong, but you have to be able to resist them, be able to take it and show ingenuity. Mr. Zadi was opposed within this village by the neighboring village. His main idea was to unite the tribe's four villages because our tribe is made up of four villages. He was opposed, so he said, I'll take mine and put it into practice what I want, my understanding of grassroots development. In order to achieve this, a very sophisticated development plan was necessary, one which did not gloss over the important aspects and started with the essentials. It's, the, it's a personal directive that I have tried to implement. These are my personal efforts to make the village succeed, build a school, a clinic, a maternity clinic. These are the things I started with. How do you bring new ideas to populations who are out of touch with modernity, people who have never taken the path of education? If this mistake has been made, it needs to be rectified. And this is where education takes on its full importance in this process. In order to approach all the modern problems of today, you must know how to delegate. The desire to make the whole community able to read and write is fundamental. It is even, I would say, the first step in the development. In spite of everything, Marcel Zadi Kessi was not always understood. The people still find it hard to identify with the renewal of this kind, which consists of thinking differently in order to live differently. This meant that questions needed to be asked. There was a need to reach out. The population did not understand the good intentions of all the actions he was leading. The question was being asked, why is it that the people don't understand all the best things I offer them, and yet we are from the same village, the same generation? He was referring to his brothers, who were the same age as himself. One day, he called everyone to his house to ask them, in your opinion, what is obstructing the development of this village? What makes you not listen when I speak? There was a debate in which everyone said why they thought the development was in such a bad way. From that moment on, an agreement was reached, and now the people feel properly involved in the process. There is no time to waste. We need to go into top gear. As the earth never lies, you must be able to compromise with it. Agriculture may be the right solution.